In this video, you'll see two problems from exponents and radicals. So, in case if you did not see the formulas from this chapter, there is a link in description. So, click on that, and there are explained around 16 formulas from this chapter. So, after completing that video, you come to these problems because you can understand easily if you know the formulas which are related to the exponents and radicals. So, my problem is here question prove that 1 by 1 plus x to the power b minus a plus x to the power c minus a plus 1 by 1 plus x a minus b plus x to the power c minus b plus 1 by 1 plus x to the power b minus c plus x to the power a minus c is equal to 1. So I need to prove this is equal to 1. So the basic formulas we require to solve this problem is a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m by a to the power n. So this is formula I'll apply and when the basis is same powers also we can add. So this formula I'm going to apply here. First 1 by 1 plus x to the power b minus a. So x to the power b by x to the power a plus x to the power c minus a. So x to the power c by x to the power a. Similarly, you can continue for the remaining two terms. 1 plus x to the power a by x to the power b plus x to the power c by x to the power b plus 1 by 1 plus x to the power b by x power c plus x to the power a by x to the power c. So this is LHS left hand side I took. I ought to prove this is total value should be 1. Now next we will simplify the denominator. 1 is the numerator. Denominator I am taking LCM. So this 1 I can write 1 by 1. So x to the power a is the LCM. So if you take LCM x power a plus x power b plus x to the power c because the base denominator is same. Plus similarly this also we can take x to the power b is the LCM for denominator. Then 1 into x power b is x power b plus x power a plus x to the power c. Plus 1 by same we can apply here x power c x to the power c plus x to the power b plus x to the power a. Then what formula you can apply? This is a normal formula 1 by if it is a by b. This you can write b by a. Okay, formulas I am writing in the box. They are the formulas you are applying in this problem. So, need not to include in this sum directly. So, x to the power a by x power a plus x power b plus x to the power c. Plus this also, again x to the power b by x to the power b plus x power a plus x to the power c. The third term x power c by x power c plus x power b plus x to the power a. Now if you observe all the denominators all are equal right x power a b power c power c similarly x power a x power b x power c here also there is x power a x power b plus x power c. Now when the denominators are same we can add the numerators x to the power a plus x to the power b plus x to the power c is the complete denominators are equal then add the numerators so first numerator is x to the power a second numerator is x to the power b third uh, numerator is x power c now if you observe the both numerator and denominator is same so we can cancel this so that is equals to 1 that is a RHS they asked to prove 1 Now I'll explain the second problem. Let me write question. If x to the power x into root x is equals to x into root x 
whole to the power x then find the value of x then find x so x value we need to find out if this is given okay so we can apply we should make base must be same so like this problem if you make the base is equal then powers are equal so what formula you can apply here so finally if for example a power m is equals to a power n then according to the formula m is equals to n powers are equal so this uh, I am going to apply in this first we need to make the base must be equal so to make equate the base first we will take the given data so what is given that is x to the power x into root x is equals to x root x whole to the power x okay. x to the power x into root x we can write x power 1 by 2 so if there is no power means for this one is equals to x into this also same into x to the power 1 by 2 all to the power x is there again so x to the power again x to the power 1 plus 1 by 2 so we can write 1 plus 1 by 2 because when the base is same power second add x to the power 1 plus 1 by 2 all to the power x now x to the power x to the power 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 is equal to x to the power 3 by 2 all to the power x then this is this side you can simplify x to the power 3x by 2 this side we can write same x to the power otherwise numerator uh, LHS we can keep as this because we can do little less stuff so in stuff even converting this so LHS in power we can let it be as it is x to the power root x because you can cancel down x to the power x into root x okay. LHS I am not taking any cancellation of the power x into root x now if you observe x to the power x into root x x to the power 3x by 2 therefore x into root x is the first power and second power is 3x by 2 both sides you can cancel xx therefore root x is equal to 3 by 2 squaring on both sides x is equals to 3 by 2 whole square because root x whole square is both kit cancels x is equals to 9 by 4 so x value is 9 by 4 this problem too. So you can see the remaining videos, remaining problems in the next videos and you subscribe to this channel because you upload only the videos which are related to the educational and if you want to see some more problems apart from these videos you go through this you, know, you can browse this website foundationforit.com. The students are from ICSC, CBSC, SSC, Intermediate. So all the question papers and model papers are completely free.